Hello everybody. Today we're going into town to go to all the pokey stops because I'm all out of balls, pokey balls. And I need them because they're having some special thing for 2019 where they give away three really good items if you can catch 19 Pokemon. And I ran out of balls at 10 last night, so I need to catch nine more. How are you? All right. And as always, it's dark and gloomy out here. Yeah, winter time. We need sun. The sun was out earlier. Yeah, but we don't for very long though. Yeah, yuck. So this is a new one that they must have just added right here on this sign. There. There's some balls. Oh good, they have this completely blocked now because people kept driving on the trail, leaving the parking lot and driving on the trail. Yeah. So that stopped that shenanigans. Because yeah. cars are not allowed on the trail. Cars and trucks. Just snowmobiles, pedal bikes, horses, and feet. And the next one is at this hall here in Tower. And it's a gym. So hopefully I'll be able to leave one in here. Yeah. And then when it's returned, I get 30 coins. So, that helps. I could battle, but I don't feel like it right now. And there's one at the church way over there, which you can't see through the steam. Here's the church, where it's at. There, now you can see it. And then there's one at the Black River Party Store. This is the Black River Party Store. It's actually on the little tiny post office attached to it. go into town. The rest are in Onaway. That's all you get in Tower. So now we're in Onaway and there's one attached to this big flag that Tom Moran made. And one on that car over there. And one on the Awaken sign. And there's going to be one on the big steering wheel. And there's a bunch in Awaken Park but I only have shoes on so I don't know about that with all this snow. <laughs> Nothing I don't already have. And here's the big steering wheel. This is a gym now, so I'll see if I can leave anything in this one too. Yep. Sometimes you can't. And like I said, I could walk all the way around to Waken Park, where all those sculptures are, but I'm not walking through that snow. They don't exactly plow in there. And there is one at, on the Woodwinds Bear, over there. And it's a gym too now. And there's one at this Catholic church, which I, I just got it. There's actually two, there's one way in the back, but I'm not gonna go in there. More walking through snow. And the courthouse, which the library is in there, and this is supposed to be the one attached to the library. But it's way out here on the curve. So you just park next to the funeral home and then you can do it. Yeah. 
Yep, it's open. Another gym. Can't leave one in there. Sometimes that button's not there. So just get the stuff. And there's one on that fish, but it looks like they didn't plow that parking lot, so we can't get in there. But we did just get one off the ball field. And there's a gym at the post office. Can't leave one in this either. It just wants me to fight it, which I don't want to do right now. And there's one on this church. There were a few more in between the last one and this one that I didn't film, but that's okay. Still nothing I don't already have. So we walk in the door and look at this. As soon as we leave, he steals my spot. <laughs> what, are you upset that I caught you in my spot? And then... He always steals Don's spot. Gizzard. Smokey likes to lay by the wood stove. But I have two Pokemon to go to get those rewards. I'll show them to you, the rewards, when I get them. And Don is going to make soup tonight. It's already pre-made soup that Bob gave us, canned. And he's going to add some stuff to it. We just hope it's not super salty because that pork we had in the mashed potatoes last night was salt pork that he made and he said boil it in water for 45 minutes and it's not salty anymore. Wrong. It was ridiculously salty and now today my joints hurt and my fingers and feet are swollen so we're not eating that anymore. We also have two jars of pickles that he canned that are 100% salt. He eats so much salt that he can't taste salt. So he doesn't realize this stuff is so salty. But, oh well. I mean, it's nice that he's given us food, but he should give us food, not salt. Here's the soup. I didn't realize Don had it out here. And he's gonna put macaroni in it and the potatoes and carrots from the other night from when we put all that chicken in the slow cooker. Oh, yeah. But like I just told them, it's hopefully not super salty. Well, we're going to use some of that broth to mix in with it, too, so... Yeah. Aww. Coming and cuddling with my foot. You're so cute. So it turns out the soup in the jar was cabbage soup. That's obvious. Cabbage everywhere. So he added pasta, potatoes, and carrots. And venison. He put venison in there. Yep, there was no meat in it. So... I have had Bob's cabbage soup once, and it was salty, so... Hopefully this helps, but it's pretty bad when somebody eats so much salt that they're used to it and their food tastes 100% like salt to everybody except them, because salt's bad for you, that much salt anyway, but we'll see how this comes out. Well, we we'll only used one quart of that cabbage soup and then everything else that we added, so yeah. if it was over salty, you could have gotten well diluted. Yeah, that's good. Just waiting on the noodles to cook. Aww. Two brothers playing. They don't look like it, but they are brothers because they have the same mother. You're crazy. Are you showing off for the camera? And then on the way back, we stopped at the little free library by the Tower Fire Hall, and this was in there. It's the only thing I saw that was good. I used to read books by Beverly Cleary all growing up, so I've been trying to collect them up when I find them from either Goodwill or the little free libraries. I could read this one in one sitting though. Huge words. And it's not that long. But I'm working on the Warriors books, so this one will wait until those are done. Well, there we go. Time to find out if it's really, really salty. Nope. I think it'll be alright. I think you pretty well cured it. Because I had his cabbage soup, what, last month or whatever. Just cabbage soup at Becky's? Yeah. It was pretty salty. 
So well, I think I you figured, fixed it. Well, I figured if we mix other stuff, no, it would dilute it. Yeah. So. Well, that's good. So every time we do one of those one of those jars of soup from him, then we'll just spice it up with other stuff. Yeah. So what I was talking about about special rewards for collecting 19 Pokemon are these things. I don't know what that thing in the middle is, and I don't know what the rainbow things are unless they're a berry. But these are the best Pokeballs you can get, and there's 20 of them, so that's good. And I just got enough so I can get them now. Those were candies. So you go over here to the items. Rare candy. A mysterious candy. When used on a Pokemon, it turns into the Pokemon's candy. Okay. And of course, 20 Ultra Balls. The best ones. Where is that other thing? Unova Stone. A rare stone that originates from the Unova region that can make certain species of Pokemon evolve. It is known for its intertwined black and white appearance. So, I have to find out if I have the right Pokemon to use that on. Probably not yet. But anyway, I now have enough balls for a while. There's 54 regular ones. The blue ones are gone, but there's 20 really good ones. So, that'll take care of that for a while. Gizzard the bathroom kitty. That's where he always wants to sleep. And White Storm and Smokey want to sleep there too, but they can't because he's always here. They could really use a cat tree where there's a spot for everybody, but someday. Right, Gizzard? Bathroom Kitty? Wake up, Bathroom Kitty! He's like, no, leave me alone. Hi, Hayden the second. How are you doing? You want food, right? Well, you get that later. You had breakfast and you get dinner later. Where's your ugly friend? Right there. Ugly, ew, gross. Right? He's going to get bigger than you and scare the crap out of you. Here's the leftovers of the soup. It was good, not salty. We're just waiting for it to cool so it can go in the refrigerator. Was it good soup? Yeah. Good soup. Yeah. I didn't add no seasonings to it whatsoever, no pepper, no nothing. Yeah. So I told you that... It had enough salt in it already. It had plenty of uh, seasonings in it. Yeah. And I only used one quart jar. I added one pint of uh, canned venison, and then what we had left over is for broth and uh, carrots and potatoes from the other night when we had chicken. And onions. And, and the onions. Yeah, there were onions in that chicken. But and then just added that stuff to it and the noodles, and that was it. Yep. Well, it came out good. Yeah. So that from any other soups we got, because I know we got more, I'm just not sure how many. We'll just uh, spice it up by adding other stuff to it to uh, help dilute it. Yeah. Hi, White Storm. What you looking for? Every time we come out here, you come out here wanting food, but you have a whole bowl of food. You're a hungry little kitty all the time. You're going to end up being a fat kitty. Hey, great. What's up there for me? I yeah. No. So anyway, I know this one is wasn't incredibly exciting, but that happens here in the winter because we don't snowmobile, we don't ski, we don't ice fish, we don't go snowboarding, all those things that you do in snow. And the things that we do like to do get harder because of the snow. So in the winter time there isn't a whole lot of screaming excitement, but we do what we can 
But we're going to say good night, and we hope you enjoyed the video, and that you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night. Say good night. Good morning. Sure. Now scream with excitement. Ah! There you go. There's your, there's your excitement. <laughs> and we'll see you next time.